In this video, I'll show you how to upgrade to Google Analytics 4 property. We will use existing Universal Analytics property and then just upgrade that one to GA4. Tape sweat punch. Hello internet people, my name is Robert. For now, we're going to keep the old Universal Analytics property right where it is. So you will have two GA properties in parallel. Just because GA4 is the future, but it's not yet there. It's not on the same level as Universal Analytics. Now, you might ask, why then switch? Well, it's all about historic data and getting familiar with new GA layout because that's where all the new features will be appearing. So basically, if you don't start now, you won't have any historic data when Google forces you to switch to GA4. Now for this tutorial, I assume that you already have a GA account and you had already Universal Analytics. So uh, in that case, it's super easy to set up. You just go to your admin dashboard in your GA and then you have under properties, you have GA4 setup assistance. So if you click on that, you get the chance to actually now create a new analytics for properties. In case you don't have this button, you can always just create a totally new property by clicking on this button here on top. Okay, so let's get started with that. Let's create it. So here it explains what it's going to be doing. Basically, it's just going to copy some of your data from your old setup and then use it for the new one. So for us, there's nothing interesting here. Let's just go and create a property. All right, now it actually already created the property and we just need to click on here, see your GA4 property because it's actually under another, you'll see just in a second, it'll create it everything automatically. So you'll notice here, I had punch salad and then I have punch salad GA4 here. And now uh, what we need to check here is, let's go here. If you don't see this view, then make sure you are in the newly created GA4 property. You can see it here at the top. And then just click on the admin section. It's this cogwheel at the bottom. Then you should see the same thing I'm seeing. Then click on data streams. We need to check that here you have at least one data stream here. Usually you should have because you already have the Google Analytics universal code. In that case, you have the web, web uh, view. So you can check what's actually included. And you should keep the enhanced measurement on just because then you have some basic measurements by default from GA4, which is a kind of unique feature what GA4 also provides. And this is where your measurement ID is. You may need it at some point, uh, like if you are using Google Tag Manager, it might ask you there. But for now, you don't need it. In the same view, you just need to scroll down and you have here the global site tag. So we need this one. You could also install it through Google Tag Manager, which I actually recommend. Google Tag Manager is much more versatile. You just place one script on your website and then you control everything else through Google Tag Manager. For example, you can have GA, GA4, Google Ads, pixels from Facebook, and you can just manage everything there. And if you ever want to work for a bigger company, pretty much everybody uses a Google Tag Manager or something similar to it. So I really recommend using it if you're even a little bit into data. If you want to learn how to install Google Tag Manager on your WordPress website, then check out the white YouTube card that should appear in your screen stop right corner right now. Just click on it and it will take you to the right video. In any case, if you are not using GTM, then this is the script that you need to place on your website. You just need to add it to the head section in the HTML. We have it in place. We need to visit our website. So let's go to the home page like this. And now if I come and close things here, let's go to the real time. So the clock, click on the clock. And you come here and you should see some traffic on your site. Now, sometimes you have to wait a bit and refresh the page a couple of times, maybe five, wait five minutes and then see this should then appear. And now if I go from my home page to, for example, uh, my blog, you'll see slash blog. And here it should now give you another one. You can see here there's a small delay between what actually happens on the site and when the um, it, when it appears in GA4. So let's wait. Let's see what we have here. There you go. You have now the punch style blog, which is where I'm at now. Now, GA4 works very differently than Universal Analytics. It's just a totally different data model. So you won't have the same reports than before. But to learn how GA4 differs, check out this video right here. And if you want to learn all the new features that GA4 has, check out this video right here. Whoosh.